All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Just checking out the buffs uh, for the third and fourth anniversary LRs. Um, you know, in the first video for Super Saiyan 4 Goku, we did have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta there as well. Um, in the Vegito video, we did have Gogeta uh, on there also. Um, so what I'm going to do is I think we're probably just going to run both Vegito and Gogeta on the team today. And let's just go into Goku and Frieza. And, and let's see how we're going to handle business in there. Um, remember, uh, they're both very crazy. Um, in Goji, in the Goku and Frieza fight, I definitely am going to have to prioritize just winning over playing around. But we'll we'll see how things are going to go. Um, obviously, the characters are very good. Um, the third anniversary LRs do have defensive mechanics. In terms of the build, we're rocking here. Um, all of these LRs, I just have their big equips. Uh, from the anniversary battle event. Um, and then, of course, I just go in a little bit more towards dodge. Because, I mean, I'll just, you know, throw this up right here at the start. But do keep in mind what's going on. We are getting an extra 800% attack, 1,000% defense, and they have a 100% chance to crit. So, let's go right into Goku and Frieza. Probably just do like a Tech Vegeta team or something like that. Both are on there. Let's go. All right, guys, let's just jump in. Let's just jump in. Let's see. We'll just rock this setup right here. Uh, the only thing that could go bad for us is Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. We do need them to be with a movie hero character. Remember, we're going to get to a point where we're going to encounter, like, a locking boss. There's going to be nonsense we're going to have to deal with. Um. All right, let's, let's see how it's going to go. Let's see. Uh, probably a good chance we're not going to be able to get the fusions. We'll go Vegeta and someone. Probably a good chance we're not going to get the fusions in this fight. Because th that's the one thing about characters that have kind of like these HP conditional transformations. Is it's just one of those things where it's like we can't control it. And in these toughest fights... I mean, the bosses are not really designed to whittle you down as much as just outright blow you straight into the depths of hell with one, you know, gigaton blast. So, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, this is a very good fight for Tech Vegeta, especially if we could just sit him turn one, slot one, and let him get some stacks in. Uh, that will be pretty significant right there. All right, let's see what the third anniversary of Vegito gets. I mean, Gogeta's kind of more my focus as the showcase character here. But, again, in the first Vegito video, like, we were looking at Gogeta and Vegito, uh, both of them. Okay, sure. All right, there. that's a hidden potential system of additional super right there. Uh, remember, every attack they do is a guaranteed crit. Keep in mind, though, see that damage right there? Remember that Goku and Frieza only take damage if you're above 10 million. So, like, that, like, Goku and Frieza are a direct counter to, like, counter characters. I would love if to lock Tech Gogeta, please. Tech Gogeta, Tech Gogeta, Tech Gogeta. Damn. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's probably a smarter play. Here's a little bit of a thing about Tech Vegeta that could be a little bit iffy. Is he could get sealed, and it's not going to really be so good for us. We can go Tech Gogeta. That base Gogeta is easily good enough to go slot one for us right here. Um, maybe they take damage if they get supered, but uh, they'll live. But the point is 17. Yeah, glad I did that. 17 seals. So uh, Goku and Vegeta, what do they stack attack? I guess we probably would want to damage Goku and Frieza towards the end. But Vegeta, Vegeta really needs the stacks bad. Um, so by having Vegeta... Um, in slot two, he's going to be able to get his stacks in still. That'll be good. Uh, I do wish that, uh, Tech Gogeta, I mean, we could have dodged that. I guess that does put us into range. We could maybe try and just avoid same type orbs from this point on. We could. Well, we are going to have blue Gogeta on turn four, right? <sighs> the only thing is bringing him, transforming him... Certainly could be bad. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I could hide him somehow. Alright, so we'll get uh, the third anniversary Gogeta. They're going to be in slot one here. Now, 17 did super attack instantly, which means he's going to be ready to super attack right away again um, on this next turn. So, we're going to have to keep that in mind for sure, right? We're going to have to be very, very cautious here. 
Okay, sure, sure, sure. Alright. So, so we're, we're gonna have them split up. It's all good. I do kind of want to get some same type orbs. Let's see what their defense is. 1.15. Like, it's just, it's just crazy to just see, like, this is what, you know, 10th anniversary is gonna look like, right? You, the, you know, they just show up and they're above a million. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, now, that is good, but if 17 supers right away, like, he, he could just kill us. So, keep that in mind. Uh, I know we're below 50%, but I don't... I don't know that I want to stay below 50%. It's a good way to just get killed. I'm gonna play it safe, actually, and do this. Get us some same type orbs for healing. It's, I think it's smarter to do that. Okay, no super attack. 20 million they get. And, I mean, this is... We don't have some of their big links like Super Saiyan and stuff like that activated. But, remember, I mean, 17 kind of... Remember, we're going through three consecutive toxic uh, mechanic phases here. Uh, where it's like, you know, we got locking, dodge canceling, and then damage threshold plus, you know, 5.6 million super, so... All right, very good. The, the Vegetas, the base Vegetas will be able to get a lot of stacks for us now. So that'll be huge for them. So v Vegeta can hold up very well in this fight um, against both 17 and Golden Freeze. Okay, here's a super attack. We should be A-OK -okay right here, right? A lot of stacks in already? Yeah, nice. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Yeah, as long as we get those stacks up for Vegeta, he can handle business for sure. He, he Vegeta's very good in this fight. Uh, no additional right there. That's probably good. Probably. Vegeta was locked back there. I'm gonna, um... Oh, damn. Should we... Uh, we're, we're not gonna be able to get the fusion. I probably... I, I shouldn't have brought physical Gogeta. He's so good, you want to. I, I mean, I, I just have to do this, too. Let's do this. And then that's going to allow us to then do this. Well, I mean, this Gogeta is literally, like, basically... Like, not actually the showcase character, but kind of the showcase character. So I'm going to play this. All right, so we did that. Um, we're going to have the Scouter for the rest of the fight, though, which is going to be very massive for us. Um, so having the Scouter, uh, that will help us a lot against 17 and Golden Frieza. 17, like, the Scouter, at, at, like, the way the game is constituted, of the four major fights, right? Like, the Scouter is obviously super good if you could have it against Super Gogeta and Super Janemba. Um, but then Goku and Frieza themselves, the Scouter is worthless because they always super in the same spot. And they have a 100% chance to super attack, too. Uh, but this phase, this is where Scouter is king. Because this is where we could really, really freaking use it. All right, let's see. If it's right away, we got to go tech Vegeta. No super at all. Damn, that's very lucky for us. If they had supered right away, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks would not have been able to take it. We would have had to go Super Saiyan Vegeta and put him there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I do need to get their 18 key, though. We don't have any rainbow orbs, unfortunately. Hmm. So, I guess, I mean, here's one potential issue that I guess we could run into with the, um, third anniversary LRs is key, right? They are very reliant on rainbow orbs. It's, you know, an additional two key per rainbow key sphere they get. So, we're actually not going to hit the 18 key. We're going to be very good in terms of links. Right, they have Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighter, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. All right, let's hit that. And then I guess we'll get closer to the Dokkan attack. Uh, no reason to transform Vegeta. I'll transform Vegeta when I need to transform Vegeta. Uh, okay. Wait, what? That's a... Huh? Why'd they take so much damage? What? I missed something? 
I, I mean, we have their extra ability up. That's just because they didn't do an 18 key last turn. That's it? Am I missing something about that? Wait, wait. Did I, did I forget something? Let me double check their passive. Because, I mean, Goku and Vegeta are movie heroes. Like, we have their extra damage reduction and shit up. Yeah, no, it's just... Uh, it's, it's just because they didn't 18 key last turn, I guess? Okay. Sure. Whatever. What the hell? Dude, every time I use that character... Oh, no, we... Yeah, we were at 24 key. I was like, do we not get the 24 key? No, we are. Yeah. I don't... I, dude, every time I use that character, they just take a lot of damage, man. Well, wait, hold on. So, we're going to get the Vegeta. We're going to get Vegito then. But not Gogeta. Damn, this isn't the Vegito showcase. So, we got Vegito. We did get Vegito. Yeah, we did. Damn, okay. Uh, I mean, he has no chance of living their super. He can't in any way. Where is it? It's at the end. Yeah, we can't put Vegito there. He dies. He dies easily. We got to put Tech Gogeta right there, actually. Physical Gogeta and in Vegito both die to that. Is there a chance in Vegito could live? I feel like I, you guys would be... I got to I gotta put him there, right? Yeah, we got to do it. Uh, I feel like I... Like, what, what is the purpose of even... I'm pretty sure this is death for Vegito. But... Let's see. So, remember, Vegito has 30% damage reduction for three turns. But that doesn't do shit against... 17 and Golden Frieza. And, like, his million defense doesn't do shit against them either. Alright, let's see. He does get 50% defense from his 18 key. I do have a full additional build on him. So, uh, if he gets a 12 key, he's gonna get another 30% defense, which... Uh, maybe could allow us to live? I don't know that it... it I, don't, I don't know that it matters. Let's see. May, best case scenario, he lives with a sliver. And then we'll just fuse into Gogeta next turn. That would be, obviously, our best bet, but. Actually, wait, wait, hey, no, he, wait, actually, are we going to kill? We might just kill. Because, I mean, he's doing guaranteed crits, dude. Yeah, no, never mind, we're just going to kill. Okay. Damn, I kind of would have liked to have seen that, but, uh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Because, <laughs> remember, I mean, Vegito is going to be doing, you know... 9 million damage crits and shit. So, okay. All right. All right. Um, so, we did get Vegito. I mean, obviously, I can't put up a Gogeta showcase with no transform Gogeta in it, though. Of course. Yeah, Vegito will kill. These are 100% chance to crit. Very big for this fight, by the way. Very big. I think their super was their last attack, too, right? I think so. We do get the hidden potential of submissional super. That's pretty big. Yep, they're dead right, probably right here. Yep. Yep. Damn, that situation, though, still only 9.6 million on the counter. The reason that's notable is because, remember, you do 10 million damage to Goku and Frieza, or you do zero damage, right? Um, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks, they can live this. With their 18 key last turn. Right? I Bro, I don't... Like, people tell me this character doesn't die. And, like, I... I don't know. I just use them and they get crushed, dude. And why do I feel like they're not gonna live this? I mean, I'm not missing nothing. Like, you know, they're on the team. I... We can't put... I mean, we could because... Um... The third anniversary LR, they do have 30% dodge. But us putting them in slot one is just banking on 30% dodge. I'm gonna... I could go Super Saiyan Vegeta right here, which we will. Let's go Super Saiyan Vegeta. I really want to get our fusion out, man. Damn. I'm gonna leave these boys on rotation. Am I gonna regret this? They're living right there. Don't play with me. They're living, dude. <laughs> I just, I have no, I, I have, I'm actually not super sure why they took so much damage last turn. I, I think it's just because we didn't get the 18 key the previous turn, I guess, but. 
Like, they're really that reliant on that. Like, I know that, but still, I mean, shocking to see. All right, they should be okay right here, right? They'll take 300k, something like that? Okay. Damn. All right, chat. <laughs> sure. Whatever, whatever. I I was looking to take... Like, Vegeta would have also lived that. Um, But... uh. He'd, of course, taken a lot less than that. Yeah, I don't know that character, man. <laughs> I just They just get hit fucking hard always, dude. All right. Uh, let's... Should we just go right back into the same fight? I don't know. I mean, I do kind of want to get um, Gogeta's transformation. Let me just maybe jump back in, and we'll just come back for Gogeta's turns, I guess. I'm going to take uh, blue Gogeta off. All right, guys. Checking in. They're here on turn one. Uh, I think what I'm going to... What we'll try and do... Man, I really want to get Gogeta out. Like, Gogeta could be very swaggy, damaging Goku and Frieza. It'd look really good. Maybe float them off? We want them on turn 6, specifically. That's pretty important. Member 17's locking. I I, I think that this this is probably our, our, our best bet. We're going to get same type orbs, which I'd rather not, honestly. Yeah, whatever. All right, let, let's go through this turn. I'm going to skip uh, to Gogeta's turns here. If uh, we have struggles here getting Gogeta out, I, I mean, I could just head to the Trunks and Goten fight like we did in the, the Vegito video. Could be a good idea to do. All right, Vegeta's doing his thing, getting his uh, stacks up early, which obviously is very good for us. Get those stacks, get those stacks, get those stacks. Yeah, as long as Vegeta's getting his stacks, he, he's he's good. He's good. He'll be able to hang in there with all these tough bosses easily. All right, so there's them. Remember, guaranteed crits, dude. 100% chance to crit. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we'll just come back for Gogeta's turns. All right, guys. So, uh, we could have the two of them together, which obviously is really good. In Vegito is the one who's locked right here. Uh, having them together, of course, we're going to share a lot of links and stuff like that. But my main priority, really, is just to get Gogeta out. And we've got a couple of other Gogetas we can pair him with. So let's focus on that. Uh, no Rainbow Orbs here, obviously, is a huge concern, again, for them actually getting to Super. This is why ninth Anniversary Gogeta is huge on the team. But... Um, by bringing him, it also doesn't synergize well with them actually even being able to fuse, right? Unfortunately. All right, well, we're going to have Gogeta in turn six. Hopefully, we could fuse. It's difficult because typically in here, again, you either get one shot or you win. <laughs> All right. Curious. I, I just put Tech Vegeta. This is slot one. Tech Vegeta right here. How are we eating this? Oof. Damn. Okay, that's... God damn. Okay. That's a little bit more than I was expecting, actually. This is turn one of 17 in Golden Freezer. Holy hell. Um, yeah, again, you gotta get him those stacks. I mean, that... It's good for our purposes, though. Which is having the two Gogetas next to each other. So, I mean, we have a Scouter up. I, I, I guess, actually, that's perfect. And Vegeta actually helped us quite a bit. Took a lot of damage, so that we're easily under the 50% HP range. But not enough to die. So, perfect. Turn six, we'll have double Gogeta next to each other. All according to Keikaku. Alright, guys. We're going to come back for a second. Uh, I have been trying to get Gogeta out in this fight. Uh, this is a good, like, five attempts later or something like that. Because I was just going to come back once we actually had Gogeta ready to go. Um, what happened on that last turn was... Oh, yeah, the family Kamehameha, they have one little thing about them, and that's that they need to have a full super class rotation. Obviously, Tech Vegeta is a villain, so that is where that run went, if you're curious. Um, and since then, I just, 17 is just, I mean, he's such a bastard. <laughs> I don't, he's just such a bad, he's just such a piece of shit, man. 17, like... So, I think I'm going to make this the last try in Goku and Freeze. At least, like, I mean, we could win easily. It's not like, like I'm not, oh my god, it's too hard to win. Like, no, 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 we can win easily. But it's trying to get 
uh, the third anniversary LR is transformed. That's that's the issue, right? Um, so I'm going to try it one more time. If not, I'm probably just going to go to the Trunks and Goten fight where I can actually manipulate uh, our HP and, you know, just to at least get a little bit more footage of Gogeta. Um, here's the thing. The third and fourth anniversary LRs, they're not like, I don't know, top five or anything probably with their abilities because they're not... I don't, oh, hit him at 10 steps super. That's nice. Uh, but, I mean, they're very good. Like, they're really good characters to put on the team, uh, these these buffed LRs. But it's just, like, the difference between, like, them and, like, you know, newer characters is, is they lack a lot of, like, the real crazy nonsense that some of these other characters have got, right? Like, Tech Broly having, you know, damn near 100% damage reduction while shooting out these big attacks and stuff like that. But the thing that's so cool about these guys is... Just watching them, I'm intentionally holding back, but just watching them, like, the fact that they do just do guaranteed crits is still pretty crazy. Just a 100% chance to crit for these guys. That That's good, that's good. That's what the third anniversary LRs have, is they at least have some type of defensive mechanic. So, alright, uh, I'm gonna come back either, well, I'm gonna, the next, I'm gonna pause and, and the next time we come back, we're gonna be with Transform Gogeta. But it's either going to be this fight or it's going to be the Trunks and Goten fight. All right, chat. I know I know what I said. We're going to come back when we're ready to go, Gogeta. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is like, damn, dude. I don't have a crystal ball, unfortunately. I wish I had. Trust me. I wish I did. I've seen Evolution Blue Vegeta in this exact situation take a million plus. Yes, I have. I have. I have. Well, I don't know what the exact damage was, but we got one shot easily. I think it was a million plus. It was in the... I think it was in the Namek Vegeta long video. If you're curious, you can go look it up. I think it's in the Namek... Don't confess Namek Vegeta long video. Evolution Blue Vegeta slot 2. It wasn't... Oh my god, I forgot this a bit. Like, he just, Evolution Blue Vegeta just gets killed in slot 2 by this boss. This boss is crazy, right? Um, So, I kind of want to leave Vegeta... Tech Vegeta in base right there. But there's no way. There's no way, man. He he would get killed, right? In base. Tech Gogeta would swallow it up. I think Evolution Blue Vegeta... Yeah, their super is the third attack. Evolution Blue Vegeta is going to take double digit damage. Tech Gogeta is going to swallow it, uh, it up. I think Super Saiyan Vegeta... I mean, after he attacks a bunch of times... Damn, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I truly have no idea what what is like the smartest choice to get us cuz I mean you guys see we're ready to go. we're ready to go man. All we got to do is just get We need to take like 350k damage here. Now remember 17 and golden free so their damage goes up every single turn too. I want to put base Vegeta right there. I'm going to do it. I just Please, base Vegeta, just, I, I believe in you, dude. You could take 700k damage, that's fine. You just can't take 715k damage. I don't, this, I don't know. I, I might be stupid, but I'm gonna, I, I think Vegeta could do this. Again, 700k damage, two thumbs up. 715k damage, god damn it. God damn it. Maybe, because I think Goge this Gogeta would take damage, but I don't know that... I don't think he would take enough to knock us below 50% tech Gogeta. I don't think so. Like, I think he'd take, like, he'd take, like, 300 even or something like that. I think. Which is not enough. I, and I think Super Saiyan Vegeta probably eats this a little too good as well. So, I, I'm just... It, it's just how these boss fights work, man. It, it's just... It's, it's tough to get whittled down. I would have preferred a super right there. Not a normal. Okay. We're looking for like 500 to 700. That's like the golden spot. Oof.
Let's go. Woo! We got the scouter up too. So, no nonsense happening. All right. Um, the thing is, I, I probably should not leave Gogeta and Vegito together, though. Because, I again, they're improved. But, I mean, these guys slot one against Goku and Frieza. I mean, that's not really intelligent. I don't know. I... I mean, Gogeta has what? Guaranteed... It's funny, Gogeta has guaranteed crit twice, basically. Because he already does guaranteed crits for the first three turns. Uh, and he has a... Damn, he has 50% chance to dodge, but it's only for three for the first three turns. So on his third rotation, he gets a 30% chance to dodge. So there's the super right there at the end. I kind of... Uh, Chad, I'm thinking we just do this. Because we need someone to go slot one. I mean, I guess... Uh, am I going to put Gogeta in slot one against Goku and Frieza? It's just like that 1.3 million. Like, it looks good, but... I mean, it, it would be very scary with him in slot one against Goku and Frieza. Vegito. Like... At, like, like the, you know, the these buffed anniversary LRs, you know, they'll handle business, but not they're not slot one characters for sure uh whew, okay i'm gonna just you know i'm gonna just let it go we'll do this and then we'll, we'll float vegeto uh but i'm gonna i'm gonna want to make sure we have someone ready to go for slot one uh against goku and frieza and we'll need tech vegeta for that uh, I am still going to do a video um, for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as well. LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And I'm probably just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to... Like, it's it's like I'm just going to take LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Goku into probably Goku and Frieza. Alright, let's see what Gogeta has to offer us. Uh, now, I, I did show the build, right? We've got a full additional build on him. So, you know, our chances of getting an additional are at least reasonable. Although, well, he's going to kill right here. 36. Okay. Yeah, guaranteed crit. He's got dodge. Got a million, you know, plus defense. What is his 18 key super attack effect? 50% defense. And then great lowers enemy attack and defense. And then 12 key is 30% attack and defense. All right. So now we get to this behemoth here. Okay. Uh, we could maybe knock them below 50%, which wouldn't really be good, necessarily. Because, hmm. like, Tech Vegeta is not... He can't handle slot 1 with them under 50%. I'm going to hold back a little bit. Intentionally. Them, I, I kind of don't really have the luxury to. Uh, let's save that line of rainbows right there for Gogeta. Because remember, Gogeta gets a lot of extra key per rainbow keys for you. Yep, that's what that guy does. I, like, when people... Like, I, I've seen a lot of people go, how could this guy even be in discussion for one? It's like, you know, like what he does in the hardest fights in the game chat. Which is like, give us the scouter and, you know, he's not really able to take damage. And uh, it's like, oh, that, that would be why. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 we saw why. We saw why. Uh, but uh, physical Gogeta, he gets an extra three key per Rainbow Key Sphere transformed. All right, th this is good. Yeah, I held back a little bit, so we're not going to get them below 50%. Uh, otherwise, Tech Vegeta in the next turn would be in real danger. I have not kept track if we have Evolution Blue Vegeta's revive up. I'm going to assume no, because it's very difficult to get the five hits on Vegeta in this fight. I mean, by this point, we could, but it's... We'll see. Well, it's going to be, what, turn eight? Okay. Yeah, if Tech Vegeta, he's below the threshold right here. So we're just doing zero. I got to be careful. I mean, I I kind of played around a little bit to make sure we could get the third anniversary fusions fused. Now, like, we, I do have to actually win the fight, right? Like, I should make sure to do that as well. I suppose we can go into the standby, though, for Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. Uh, and they'll, they'll be able to sit in front of under 50% HP. Easy. Uh, Gogeta. Is Gogeta still going to have his passive? Or his his extra... Because, I mean, he could still... T Super Gogeta could be in front of the under 50% as well. 
Revive? No. Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> have to revive. That's a joke. Yeah, get the revive in here. No way. All right, guaranteed crits for him. Toss this as well. Perfect. I uh, love that. Crit for zero. Beautiful. Uh, okay, let's hit this right here. Uh, I save this for Gogeta. That'll get us to 24 key pretty easily. Perfect. Um, we'll be able to have quite a few links. What is this? Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Uh, Kamehameha and Fuse Fighter are the two uh, links we're not going to have up. All right, let's see how we do. 1.3 million defense, of course. Remember, he gets 50% on his 18 key super attack effect. Vegeta can live this. Well, I mean, e yeah, e he can live it. E I mean, easily, easily, right? He's, he's above 50% HP, so he... Not only does he live it, he lives it easily, yeah. Um, all right. What do we got, man? What do we got? I'd like to just pull pull this win in right here at the end. And then we'll end the video. Uh, win or lose at the end here, we'll, we'll finish up regardless. I might, you, you guys let me know. I, I'm going to look through the, the comments hard on these. Uh, if you guys want me to do a long video on these characters, I could. I'm, I might as well. I should. There's going to be 50 characters to showcase again tomorrow, though, with the heroes these days. 33 million, so he's obviously well above the threshold. 15 million crit typically damages Goku and Frieza, in my experience. Yeah, he's well above it. Uh, he is able to double digit tank. I mean, I'll, oh, well, I mean, yeah, he's way in range. Once they fall below 50%, though, he's not going to be able to tank their normals anymore. It's, he's going to be dodge or die against their normals. Uh, they should be below 50% now. So we got to be very careful. Uh, this feels like a Goku standby moment right here. We're not going to be able to live in slot one. I mean, do we still have Tech Gogeta? It's passive up? I'm not sure. The Scouter would be up. Yeah, so we still do, right? Oh, ch I can't put Vegito there. No. I, I know I would love to put Vegito there, but I can't. I can't. I can't. If you look at the top of the screen, you'll see how they have the attack buff symbol and defense down symbol. That's how you know. That's that's just the easy way you could tell that their, their normals are now, you know, like 2 million plus and their super attack is 5.6 million. Um, all right. Well, I, I think, I, I mean, kind of what I would like to do, I think, is probably put Gogeta in front of this, actually. That's, that's what we should do, huh? We should put Transform Tech Gogeta in front of this. <laughs> I kind of want to see. Yeah, because we have the Scouter up, so we know it's still up. Let's go. I'm curious. Uh, let's yeah. Let let's hit this. Let's hit this. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna transform them. Uh, what is that? Three six. It's both regardless. Let's hit this. All right, let's see how we do. Ah, we dodge it. Damn it. Yeah. I kind of, like, I wanted to see him tank it, actually. He's just too good. Yeah, he's too good, dude. He's just too good. I don't know. People can talk about this guy. I don't see it. All you fucking want to. I, you have fun with that, man. I don't see it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah. All right, global players. <laughs> there, guys. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, man. All right, let's wrap this up. I'm a little concerned with Vegito. No, he'll kill. He'll kill. Vegito's going to kill. Yeah, he's killing. He's killing. Because he's not going to be able to damage with... The, uh, is he? He's not going to be able to damage with his counters. Does he die to normals here? He might die to normals. He kills. He kills. He kills. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, because I, I was... 
I, I feel like he might have tied to the normals right there. Uh, they are hitting pretty hard. What, what, once you get un, uh, under that threshold, them boys, they are not playing. They are not playing. All right, so we're going to do one more. Uh, next video, we're going to take LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta into this, I guess, the same fight. Uh, and I'm going to make LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, obviously, the primary focus. Um, but yeah, I, I, certainly fun. I mean, them just giving, you know, these very, very fun, nostalgic, iconic Dokkan characters, these massive buffs. I mean, that's definitely a good thing and not a bad thing, right? So, uh, let me know what you guys think, but, uh, very, very, very fun stuff.